Scotty McClue's National Mega Fawning. Right, you're listening to Scotty McClue's National Mega Fawning, and of course we are exceptionally busy, rather a lot to get through tonight, so don't be larking about, don't be mucking about. Uh, we're talking to uh, Lee, hello Lee, are you there Lee? Scotty. How are you trying up? Alright mucker, it's no Lee, Lee had to go me, Smithy. Right Smithy, how you getting on son? I no bad mate, no bad. You ba- you're back for another tanking. <laughs> Hey, you've never recovered this I'll tell you, you, you made a right fool of yourself in front oh, of me. I, 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 I had nothing I had but people on going. Come, I had loads of people in my favour. I was listening. No, at all. You were up against Not it. Not at all. You had a couple of dafties came on <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> so <laughs> there you are. I like to have a wee word about the two, the last two uneducated halflets that's just been half on your show. Go on. Right? About these asylum seekers. Yes. People believe what they read in the paper, Scotty, and these halflets that's just doing, uh, can't remember the last guy, but the English guy before that, right? They're just listening to what they hear in the paper, Scotty. These refugees are category A refugees. Do you know what that means? Right, go on. That means they're polit- they've been uh, withdrawn from their country for a political reason, right? That means they're troublemakers, Scotty. And it's just so happens that the 90% of the refugees in Sight Hall are, ta- are category A refugees. Well, how come they've never made any trouble then? Well, Scotty, they are making trouble. No, they're I mean, not. You don't, well, wait a minute, Scotty. Right? This is the same story you get off of most people that read the papers, right? Uh-huh. They haven't actually been up there and seen and visited. So, you the the, so you're saying, are you saying the papers are not reporting accurately? They're not, no, Scotty. The papers only report what suits them. You know the way the media works, right? They only, they only want to put on the papers what suits them to sell their papers. They're more interested about, I mean, did the people at Sight Hill, did they get a say in what sort of people are getting put into their community? No, they were forced upon them. Right? Well, well, of these course, people, but I mean, you've got, you've, you've, you've got to put refugees somewhere. Right, well, Scotty, see, the government has a hotline, right, who, who um, they've got people phoning in, welcoming refugees to their area. Yes. Right? Local authorities, house associations have yes. this phone number, right? Who they welcome in these refugees to their area, right? The reason they were put in sight hall in so many numbers is because nobody wanted Category A ones, and that's why it's becoming such a problem, right? These people are troublemakers who are putting people's doorstep unwanted, and that's how they're getting so much here. So the half-baked half-wits who are saying, oh, let's stand up for the refugees, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, but I mean, in, in, anybody that's been through hell, right, and all the rest of it, while the troublemakers are not, that really is incidental. They need to be housed, they need to be looked after, they need to be cared for, and there needs to be some attempt made at understanding the situation. So it doesn't matter whether they're troublemakers or not. I mean, you'd be a troublemaker too if people had put you from pillar to post. Wait a minute. I mean, in fact, you are a troublemaker. You know, come on now. Listen, Scotty, these people are put there unwantedly, right? There's places for people like this. Yeah, but I mean, if you don't explain to people, I mean, this is a thing that goes on throughout the world. If you don't explain, to people what the situation is then of course they're going to be unwanted I mean if I said I was sending my family up to live in your house tonight you wouldn't welcome them with open arms you might pretend you were but you'd think <laughs> I'm not wanting these McClues up here causing oh, trouble quite, quite, that's your choice though I you mean, see surely it's your choice I mean these, no these, no these hang, hang, on, hang on a minute hang on a minute when did people last have a choice of who moves into their area well, sorry, I mean we're refugees the house no no no, when, no come on when did you last have a choice are you saying that people who are surrounded by the neighbours from hell actually voted for them to come there. Just, Scotty, you're doing what you always do. You're taking this right out of context. Is that, is that We're what not you're talking about me? one family, Scotty. We're talking about 1,200 refugees, 90% of them category A troublemakers, recognised by this government, recognised by the previous government, and that's why they were well, hold on, from well, hold on, hold on. The thing is that the government of this country have obviously given them the green light. Yeah, because you can't refuse, Scotty, the, the legal laws say uh, the way the government's work is you can't refuse a, a refugee entry into your country. Right? They're only starting to curtail it because of the trouble that they're getting from them. And the government, they're starting to put laws through and they're starting to put bills through, cutting down the numbers that, that, that were allowed into the country. But if they're troublemakers, they might have been troublemakers in their own country because things weren't going right there. Well, things Scottie, are going okay in Scottie, this country. Scotty, see in this country, see when things go wrong? What do you mean you do? You mean you vote for the person who will change that? Yes. In a democratic society? Yes. Well, they've 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 only arrived and for good... shooting people and rioting. Well, they've only arrived, for goodness sake. Well, wait a minute, they, 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 maybe they, they already had, had the opportunity in yeah, their own country. Hang on a second. Maybe they haven't had it explained to them how we do things here. But Scotty, we're not talking about this country. In their, in their own country, they had the opportunity to change things. Mm. Because it's the people that speak. I mean, it doesn't matter what country you're in, whether it's a dictatorship, which I believe Turkey is not a dictatorship, right? 
these Kurdish people were put in this country because of their, their own country doesn't want them because of troublemakers. Well, that would be a nasty rumour spread by people like yourself, I would think. No, Scotty, wait a minute. I'm, I know, Scotty, because... You know, you've, no accused, you've, accused, you've accused the press of spreading nasty rumours. Now, you know, you're, you're obviously, you're obviously, you're, you're obviously doing this yourself. You see, what I've got, I've got the press in front of me, right? Right. And and they're coming out with all these things like um, uh, refugees bring cares to Glasgow, races BNP jobs whip up violence, but boy could be a mugger's victim, right? Sure. Racist racists spat hatred at refugees yesterday. So well, they were during, you know, you know during fresh protests like at a young Kurd's murder. Yep, Scotty, see who well, I feel sorry for? I feel sorry for the people of Sight Hill. Right? That's who I still feel sorry for. Yeah, but why are you feeling sorry for the people of Sight Hill? Because they've got everything. No, they've not, Scotty. They've, they've had it. They've troublemakers on their doorstep. And it's not just one family of troublemakers you're talking about. You're talking about 1,200 people here, which you is know. like, a, it's like a, quite a large amount of people. I mean, one family you maybe can curtail, you maybe can get the police on to them, get the local authority on them, and they maybe calm down a wee bit. So I'm what you're saying, people here, so you're telling me that everything in Psych Hill was absolutely rosy? No, well, Scotty, see, two weeks ago, an unfortunate lad lost his life in Ridry, right? Mm -hmm. Through a similar sort of circumstances. Was it plastered all over the media? Was it plastered all over the press? Was it in the news? No. It's in the news because these, the, the gutter press think they can sell a couple of extra papers by tagging it a racist attack. And they know that people will buy it because people think it's on their doorstep. They better sell the papers. Well, right? Would you not see it as a racist attack? I think the, the, the chap was in an unfortunate position at an unfortunate time, which happens. But, but what you're, te you're, you're telling me it wasn't a racist attack. You're saying Scott, there's never been know. any racist Scott, attacks. Scott, see the only people who know. Yeah, but a wait a minute. Attack. You're telling me. Hang on. I'm not talking about even that particular case. I'm just yeah. saying you're telling me there's no such thing as racist attacks. That that's just attack no. put on by the media. No, Scott, the only people who know whether that was a racist attack was it two lads that done it, right? That's the only people who know. See everything else? Speculation, right? And see the more it's speculated on, they tend to tag racists because they know racism sells papers and that's what they do it for. Nobody knows apart from these yeah, two boys. Hang on a minute. No, my, uh, no, I actually resent that because it's very easy to put the newspapers down, right? No, I know that the newspapers aren't necessarily the most popular members of the, but if you didn't agree with any of the newspapers, why did you fork out your 32p? Well, sorry, uh, you can't really say that to me on the certain papers that do produce more of the gutter trash. I don't buy them. I right, so you don't like buy the them? Papers. No, I don't. Uh, well, I refuse to give them my money because why? I mean, I can right, so, 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 does everybody so does everybody else follow you then? And you're saying they're not selling any papers? Is so that what you're telling? Is just the same as the last two callers, right? They read the paper, and what you read in the paper is gospel, right? Well, I don't I think anybody's ever said that. I think what you read in the paper is what you read in the paper. I don't think anybody's ever said it's absolutely gospel. No, but see I'm sure there are two sides to the story, but I mean, is, 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 you, is your side of it any more gospel? Oh, well, Scotty, I'm, I'm not going to give away where I work, no. right? But I work very close to the, 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 the area that these people are, are not in the exact um, right. department that these people okay. are placed. Okay, but Smithy. In the same I'll, I'll, all right, Sorry. I'll tell you what One we're going to do. I'll tell you what we're going to do, because I've actually... I've I've got a bit of time for you, you know, just because you're in credit from previous calls. Although you, you <laughs> used, used up the bulk <laughs> of it on Friday night. It took me so, three months to go in here, so Absolutely. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go now. This is an open forum, right. right? And people are more than welcome to come on and put their version of events. Now, I can't say fairer than that, can I? Get some of the people for site hall, Scotty, because Smithy, that's cool. Smithy, I can't say fairer than that, well, can no, I? I cannot, Scotty. You, you know, cannot. you've got to give but, me that one, old son. But whoever comes on, Scotty, let's make sure... They know the facts. They've actually uh, stayed in the area. And well, we don't, we don't normally let anybody on twice in a night, but if you hear anything that you particularly think is complete and utter fabrication, then I, I shall give you special dispensi dispensation via the wizard to come back and tell us. How about that? That's a great... Now, don't you tell story. me I don't spoil you, because I do. <laughs> You do spoil me. Okay, Only because I win the argument. I get along with you. I'm <laughs> trying to encourage you to win an argument. Oh, I'm yeah, trying to teach you. Countless. Away you go. I can't remember. <laughs> My memory's failing me. I'm so I dinky do to you. Old age, dinky do, Mr. Old age to yourself, dinky do, Mr. Smithy. <laughs>
If you missed the national megaphone in last time, you missed this. These people are troublemakers who are putting people's doorstep unwanted. So the half-baked half-wits who are saying, oh, let's stand up for the refugees, they don't know what they're talking about. Anybody that's been through hell, right, and all the rest of it, whether they're troublemakers or not, that really is incidental. They need to be housed, they need to be looked after, they need to be cared for, and there needs to be some attempt made at understanding the situation. That song was written 85 years years ago. I don't care when nope. it was wrote. Idiot! Fool! I have no time for idiots like you! You're a complete clown! Aye, 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 but wait, nah, but wait, ah, but wait, ah, but wait! Just listen and learn something and stop being such a stupid idiot! No wonder there's trouble in this country with idiots like you around! You're a half-wit, a fool, and a cretin, and don't dare come on this program again talking rubbish!